Hello everyone, it's Fred again from Notes of a Nomad, video number 185. Today I want to share with you a video of a presentation I recently made at the Agora Speakers International Convention. They asked me what were the results of my experience of the 12 weeks I traveled in Nepal. So I made this presentation at the International Convention where people from around the world attended. So I thought I'd share this with you because you may have seen some or all of my 12 videos while I was there, but this is a short summary. You don't have to watch all those other videos of what happened and what I thought and what I learned and what I did very briefly overview when I was in Nepal earlier this year. So here it is, enjoy the video. And now we're going to wait for the judges to do their magic. And for the time being, we will invite our next speaker, which is very interesting, Fred Jones, who will be telling his experience on his recent visit to Nepal. Fred Jones is our Agora ambassador for Canada. So please help me all welcoming Fred Jones. Thank and... you very much. Welcome to my friends and to those in Nepal. Namaste. Today I want to share with you what I learned about in my recent trip in Nepal about the gift that Agra offers the world. Agra Speakers is a wonderful gift to the world. The purpose of my 12 week trip to Nepal was to spread the word about what Agra Speakers has to offer in schools in Nepal. And I spent 12 weeks traveling through Nepal, visiting a different school every week and visiting all seven provinces. Working with the students and introducing them to Agra speakers was a highlight for me. I learned that the Nepali people are very hospitable and generous and I met many wonderful people. And here are a few examples. The first person I wish to introduce is Ravi Batarai. Now, Ravi is an ambassador for Agra speakers in Nepal. And we're standing next to a small Hindu shrine in Kathmandu, and Ravi arranged my journey to the schools in all seven provinces. And the next person I want to mention is this gentleman here standing next to me and Ravi. This is L.B. Rana. L.B. is the first school principal I met, among many others that I met as I visited each location in Nepal. L.B. was very generous, thoughtful, and helpful. He arranged phone support for me from the first to the last day throughout my travels in Nepal. And during my travels, he would call me and see how I was doing. Hello, Fred, how are you doing? Do you need anything? And this shirt is a gift from LB. LB is a great example of the many other amazing and generous school staff that I met throughout Nepal. And another example of the people I met is this family. Now, this is a family who hosted me for a week in their home. They were extremely hospitable and helpful, asking if I needed anything to eat, or are you all right? What can we do? It's another great example of the many friendly, wonderful people I met in Nepal. And then there were the students. I learned they're hardworking and want to be the best they can be. And many demonstrated a high level of enthusiasm about what Agra Speakers has to offer. Now, some of the things I learned about Nepal whilst I was there was, well, Nepal is a relatively small country compared to Canada, and it's located in Asia between China and India. And the population in Nepal is around 
30 million people. And there's many private schools and about 30% of the students go to private schools. So while I was there, I was hosted in 10 private schools and two government public schools. And the access I was given to students and staff at the schools was outstanding. Now on the map, there's red lines representing where I traveled during the 12 weeks. So you can see I traveled, I started actually in Kathmandu, which is the capital in the middle. And then I moved out to the Western part. I spent a few weeks there traveling, zigzagging around, then to the middle of the country, and then all the way out to the East. And in my 12 weeks, I zigzagged through the country and I visited all seven provinces of Nepal. Now, this isn't a, ca a travel log, but there's one place I wish to mention that I visited because it has some relevance to this presentation. It is the Buddhist pilgrimage site in Lumbini, Nepal. It is known as the birthplace of Buddha. There are many monasteries and temples on that site. And behind me is the World Peace Pagoda, which I saw when I was in Nepal in Lumbini. Now let's review the process and approach that I took as I visited each location for a week. The schools are open from Sunday to Friday, six days a week. And the first part of the week, we would gain the, gather the students who expressed interest in Agra, and they learned and they practiced having Agra meetings with all the roles and their, how to run a meeting. And sometimes I had large groups. For example, this time I had around 60 students. So what we did was we broke them into smaller groups of around 20. And then that group would give a presentation, do their meeting, and while the others watched. And then another group would do the same thing. They would have a meeting while everyone watched. And this technique helped them learn very quickly about how to conduct agro meetings. Now, there were times in some schools where I had a smaller group. And in this case, what they would do is they have their meeting, maybe it would be 35 minutes approximately. We would then review what they could did well, what they could do better, have a break, and then they would do it again with the same speeches, the same hot questions. And that was a great approach for them to learn quickly about how to conduct AGRA and what it was about. And I'll just mention that um, the man standing here was the English teacher. His, his name was um, UK. And sometimes we have the English teachers in the, but everybody was, every school I went to, English was a, uh, a priority to learn. Now, after they had done practicing, at the end of the week, they would have a, a demonstration. And they would have, they have banners such as this, where they'd invite other students from their school and teachers from other schools in the area. Sometimes there were parents, sometimes there were other officials as well to watch them demonstrate what was happening and what they had learned. So for example, this was a group who were demonstrating, as you can see, if, if I expand this a bit, you can see the timer, speech evaluators, meeting leader, the, uh, hot questions, masters, etc., And they would have it in front of an audience. This time, as I mentioned, we have students from their school and other schools and teachers, etc. And after the students demonstrated, it was my turn. And the title of my presentation was The Gift. I would point out the flag was unique because it consists of two triangles. And of course, the Nepali flag is a source of national pride and identity. And I told them I had brought them a gift that can enhance that national pride and identity. And the gift was from AGRA, from AGRA Speakers International, which is a nonprofit educational foundation registered in Europe, free to join, nothing to buy, run by volunteers. And I also mentioned the reason their skills that they learn in agri-speakers is so important. 
I mentioned the world is changing dramatically. There's artificial intelligence. And we heard the presentation about artificial intelligence and how it's going to change the world. Robotics, climate change, and all of these changes that are occurring impacts the young generation because they are facing more challenges than any previous generation. And they need to learn how to work together to cope with the challenges. And a lot of the skills that they learn on being able to work with each other, help solve problems together and collaborate. This is how they will survive and make a big impact on the world. So that's why Agra Speakers is so important. I also explained how our meetings will help improve and need you know, to cope with this changing world from what they had seen. I pointed out the different meeting roles they had seen demonstrated. That's where they learn to speak in front and share their ideas. The highlighted ones in yellow are those like the meeting leader, the speeches, thought of the day, joke masters. They're learning how to present in front of a group. And then hot questions master was where they learned to speak impromptu, answer questions, which is part of life and important. And the most important roles I pointed out is what I call the secret sauce. It's how to learn to give feedback and help each other improve because we wanna help and collaborate with each other and make us the best we can be. So collaboration and is helped enormously by learning how to evaluate in a positive manner. I also shared with them the benefits of public speaking. The fact that it helps them with their communication skills, helps them build their confidence, helps them learn to be a leader that they need, the world needs in this rapidly changing world. And I emphasize the point that all good leaders are good communicators. I also learned there's a large brain drain in Nepal. Many of their young and brightest Students go overseas for education and ultimately live abroad. This brain drain is something I believe AGRA can help address. I pointed out that if they practice and learn their English, it could help reduce the brain drain. With the international internet improving and international companies looking for skills from around the world, they could stay in Nepal stay with their families, stay with their friends in their culture and community and contribute to their country, living in their own world rather than having to move other parts of the world. In addition to the schools, I also had other opportunities while I was there for, to express what Agra speakers can do. And here are some examples. During a summer break, we arranged a one week summer camp. I spent all six days with the students and in the morning they practice agri speakers. They then learn to journal on different topics. They help cook the meal. And then after school, after lunch, we went on the school bus to a variety of sites. Now you can look at the school bus, they were singing on, having a lot of fun on the school bus. And I think this cow heard the children arrive singing and the cow wanted to get on the bus and party on the bus as well. This was fun, active week that we had. Other things that we did was they would journal. This was on a riverbank and then we explored the riverbank. We went to a couple religious sites where they explored the temples, met other people and those sites. And also we went to a farm and on the farm, they explored the farm after they did their journaling and they picked corn and they roasted the corn. Just look at the how excited this young man was in his eyes. Just see, he's going to enjoy the corn that they had picked and roasted. So this was a wonderful, fun and memorable week. Also, I had the opportunity on another time to go to a college. This was known as the International College of Applied Science in one city. And these adult students are interested in setting up an agri club as well. And one other 
very interesting person that I met was this man sitting next to me. His name is Besraj Nupani. And he had had a serious accident when he was young. And so he's in a wheelchair. He has limited use of his limbs and his arms. But during his recuperation from his accident, he was reading lots of books, but he found it difficult to find enough books. So he started a library and all the books are donated. And these are the some of the volunteers. He now has 14 libraries in 14 cities throughout Nepal. And they are interested in setting up some agri clubs in their libraries. So all of these schools I went to, the summer camp, the public library and the college, received the presentation of the gift offered by agri speakers very, very positively. And as I mentioned before, the students were very interested and appreciative. They got it. They realized this is part of their future. This will make them successful. It's not only what you learn in school, it's how you learn to communicate and work and help each other and work as a team to solve the problems. I receive even lots of feedback. In fact, there's a bracelet on my arm. One young girl said, thanks for coming and showing us this and made me this bracelet. And here's an example of one student's comment. As a teenager, speaking in front of a crowd has never been easy, but looking forward to learning more and boost my confidence with Agra Speakers International. And can you imagine, just imagine, if they learn to communicate and help each other and improve their leadership skills in Nepal, Imagine what other countries, when they see the impact Agra Speakers is having in Nepal, they will say, we want what Nepal has. And at this point, I'll just mention, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please reach out to me. I have put my uh, email address at the bottom of this slide. I also put it in the chat. And if you can also reach me if you go to the Agra Speakers website where I'm listed as an ambassador and there's a method of contacting me through email. So in summary, what I'd like to impress is that I learned in Nepal is that there are many amazing people around the world that can benefit from the gift that Agra Speakers offers them. And let us continue to actively introduce the gift of Agra speakers to more people around the world. And this will help make the world a much better place. And I predict that the gift of Agra speakers offers could even have a positive impact on world peace as represented by the World Peace Pagoda at Buddha's birthplace in Nepal. Namaste. Well, there's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. So with that, I'll say adios, au revoir, wishing you, your family and friends, lots of love and laughter. Bye for now from Fred and Notes of a Nomad. Till next time.